and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to join in holy matrimony, Drew Torres and Bianca D'Souza. <laughs> Promise me you goofs won't have a giggle fit at your real wedding. <laughs> We're good. Okay, then can we get along with this rehearsal, please? If anyone here should object to this union, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Make a potato, make a potato! Got it, Aya. Okay, no objections, seeing as my mom's not here. And won't be in Vegas either. Right. And next up, your vows. You're writing your own? Written. Um, working on it. And then you exchange the rings and kiss the bride. Now that, I can handle. Mamma mia! Okay, good. Stop. <laughs> now, let's all get ready for Las Vegas. You ready? Yep, I just gotta go home and get my suit. What is it? We won seven plane tickets to Vegas. We only filled five seats. If we tell your folks about the wedding, they're gonna try to stop it, Drew. Yeah, you're right. Stupid idea. It's you and me against the world, okay? Yeah, you're right. And in two days, we'll be hitched. Nothing can stop us. You believe that in five hours we're going to be swimming in the ocean. You think it'll be packed by then? What, you'd rather I bring no clothes to Puerto Vallarta? <laughs> Ew, gross. Can't you guys just wait till you get a room? Aw, you guys want the house to yourself so you can hold hands? I'm actually on the way to the train station back to campus casing. Boyfriend gone, sister gone. Band scattered and no other friends to speak of. We'll be back before you know it. Oh. Since you're being, you know, nice for once, this came for you in the mail. You didn't apply, did you? Apply where? Uh, well, you know, when I lost soccer and rehab, I, I don't know, I took a risk. There's no way I... I got in. Oh my god, I got in! <laughs> where, where are we jumping? Stanford! Where I always wanted to go for soccer, it, it's my, my dream school. So you have to be... Marty Pants in California next year. And we can celebrate all week in Mexico after I tell my parents the good news. <laughs> yeah. Just think, before you know it, you'll be Mr. Bianca D'Souza. You're hilarious. No, hilarious would be mom finding out. Well, she can't. She stopped the wedding. She thinks bees trail the trash. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. All right, do we have everything to make it look like we're going camping? Uh, tents, sleeping bags, tarps. Crap, I forgot the iPad. Adam, hurry up, man. She'll be home any second. I know, I need to Skype Becky with it. Okay. Ready? Got it, let's go. Adam, you still here? Sorry. Adam. Oh, true. Long time no see. Mom? Actually, I'm glad you guys are here. I uh, got you a little something. Camp stove. <sighs> Thanks, but I can start a fire. Well, what if it rains? Well, then I'll figure it out. Trust me. Trust you. Well, this year you've uh, dropped out of school, got engaged. Who knows what crazy thing you'll do next? Stanford, <laughs> we are so proud of you, honey. So proud. But no matter how we run the numbers, even with financial aid, a university like this is going to cost 20000 a year, 80 for four. OK, well, um, what if I got a job? I could flip burgers or a crap load of burgers. With our mortgage and my medical bills. I know, it was a pipe dream anyway. I'm so sorry, sweetie pie. I, there's no way we can afford this. No, it's OK, Mom. I'll just uh, go to Mexico and forget I even applied. You have a good time on your trip, OK? Thanks. See you. Look after her, Jake. I will. <laughs> Hey, hey, she said they saved like, what, $5,000 for you to stay home and go to TU? I mean, university's university, right? Yeah, you know, let's just drop it. I don't want these stupid money problems to ruin our spring break. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Drew's 20 minutes late. What if he ran into Audra and she's trying to talk him out of it? I'm pinning you. Stay calm. Oh, my goodness. What? What happened? You make such a beautiful bride. 
Thank you, but I won't be calm until we're on that plane away from all the Audras and Katies and all of the haters who've ever tried to come between us. Relax. I told everyone the flight was 20 minutes earlier than it is. We'll make it with time to spare. I'm so glad we made you our wedding planner. You're like a boring details genius. No, no, no. How can our flight be canceled? Ugh. Hurricane Stephanie hit the Gulf. No flights in or out of Mexico. Well, now what, a staycation? Does anybody have inline skates? <laughs> no, no, we're definitely going somewhere, okay? We just have to switch our flights and hotels. And then we just have to pick somewhere to go. So, Paris? A few more pesos than Puerto Vallarta. Mm -hmm. Vancouver? We, we could see those trees that are big enough to drive cars through. And spend spring break in the rain? Okay, Point Marisol. Uh, what about Vegas? Really? We're underage, we can't do much there. No, 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 there's like paintballing and, and roller coasters. It's practically like a giant amusement park there. Plus there's pools and spas and shopping. Mm. Plus I might be able to win my tuition at Blackjack. Say what? Okay, guys, remember when I like ruled the Blackjack table at Degrassi's Vegas night? Yeah, you had crazy luck that night. No, but it wasn't crazy luck. My grandfather lived in Reno and he won a small fortune counting cards and he taught me. Isn't that illegal? Technically, no. And plus, I have like five hours on the plane to practice. Come on, guys, I got into the school of my dreams and I can't afford it. Okay, I know, I know it sounds crazy, but I at least have to try, right? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Yay! You are the light of my life. Isn't that a bit cliche? So I read Bianca's vows. She's basically like Shakespeare, except she's female and she's less dead. Remember that one year that Uncle Tony had his groomsmen sing his vows, four-part harmony? Oh, that's so romantic. <laughs> Maybe you could do that. Well, yeah, except I have one groomsman and, well, he can't hold a note. <laughs> hey, watch it. Talk like that and you won't have any. Uh, all right, guys, can we just stop talking so I can work on my vows? Sorry, I, I guess I'm just used to big tourist weddings up at the cottage. The cousins running around? Yeah, well, um, this is gonna be a different type of wedding, Adam. But it'll be great, as long as Bianca's happy. I'm not trading my hat with you for the sake. Oh, come on, though. Oh, dear God, no. What a crazy coincidence. Okay, if Marisol's here, that means Katie cannot be far behind. Bianca cannot see her. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard your flight from Toronto to Las Vegas. Please ensure your luggage is securely stowed. How are you on this plane? Please, please tell me Katie's not here. Wait, wait, where is she now? The washroom? Oh, God. Oh, no. no freaking way. Oh, no. Oh, Katie, what are the odds that you're on the same flight we were taking to our wedding? Your wedding? Wait, you're serious? I mean, you know, this doesn't have to be weird. Yeah, sure. A few months ago, we dated, but a few months ago, Jake was with Claire, and now they're kind of related, so you and you and Jake kind of, you know, you guys date. Yeah, what, what I'm trying to say here, you know, is that we're all friends, right? And we're all going to Vegas. It should be awesome. Yeah, you guys should come to the wedding. Seriously? And uh, Jake, Jake and Mo, you guys, you guys should come to my bachelor party tonight. Oh, fun. Yeah, and, uh, Oh, Katie, maybe maybe you and uh, Marisol could go to Bianca's bachelorette party. No, no, or not. Oh, I mean, we should all just chill. You don't want the, uh, the window seat or, or a blanket or something? Why would you do that? I was trying to make things less weird. By inviting your ex to our wedding? Uh, Adam, Adam said stuff about a big Torah's wedding. I, I thought a few more people wouldn't hurt. Okay, so you want a big wedding or you didn't want it to be weird? I don't know, okay? I panicked. I did it for you. You know what you could do for me? Leave me alone for the next five hours so I can get my beauty rest. Oh. And don't go inviting any of your exes to come spoon with me, okay? Thank you. This is getting 
gonna be a bumpy ride. machines in the airport. I've seen seven Hummer limos since I got here, and showgirls just walk around like it's nothing. Let's get this bachelor party started. Uh, I think I need a second. Right. While you do that, I'm gonna Skype Becky, let her know we got here safely. Sounds like a plan. Can't stay mad forever. Sounds like a challenge. Look, come on, I know I messed up, but at least we'll have a few more people at our wedding. What happened to you and me against the world? You're all I need. Okay, but isn't it a little bit weird we're having such a small wedding? So Mo, Jake, Marisol, and freaking Katie are your <sighs> ideal guests. No, no, but but at least they'll come. Come on, they want to support us. That's something, isn't it? Hi. Da, da, da. Only fools rush in, cause I can't help. Da, 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 da. They are singing our song. That means you have to forgive me. Fine. I forgive you. As long as you and I are at the altar, I guess it doesn't really matter who else is there. A wedding? Can we come too? Sure. Why not? Oh, goody. I love me a wedding. So, you're not mad anymore? No. Good. Thanks. Why don't we take our honeymoon suite for a little test drive? Adam's waiting to take you to your bachelor party. And we're waiting to take Bianca to her bachelorette party. Oh, and phone please, you and your fiance are incommunicado until the wedding tomorrow. Thank you. You'll take the bags up to the room? Yes, ma'am. Have fun tonight, but not too much fun. I love you. I love you too. Bye, boys. See ya. Minus one, plus one, plus one, plus seven. Nailed it. Yes. <laughs> Jackpot! Tiny soaps, body scrubs, it's gonna be sick. Oh, the smallest things amuse you. Whatever, lady. No one likes my silky smooth skin more than you. Are you wearing anything under that? Bam! <laughs> like I'm gonna let you see the show for free. Let's go get those buffet braces before we head out. Hey, only real way to beat the house, pay 25 bucks for a meal, eat 50 bucks of food. Jake, I can do this, okay? Okay. I know it. Okay, just be cautious here, okay? Okay. So, tell me again how you plan on winning 20 grand off of $200 in traveler's checks. Uh, I'm gonna use my savings. Your university money? Well, what if you lose? I mean, counting cards, you're no Sheldon Cooper. No, it's easy. You just keep a single number in your head and then you subtract one for every face card or 10 you see, and then add one for every non-face card and then bet big when the number's high. Because you're more likely to get a 10 or a face card. Exactly. See, even you get it. Okay, but what about this? You have to be 21 to gamble. Not if you have a fake ID. Where did you get that? Um, when Bianca and I went to the club. Oh, you mean before you two were arch enemies? Yeah. Are you ready to look older or what? Yeah. Not so fast. ID. Maria Alvarez, you're a Gemini. Uh, Taurus. May 20th is on the cusp. Hmm. What's your, uh, what do they call in Winnipeg? Postal code? Uh, easy, Hector. They're with me. Thanks. Oh, sure thing, Mr. Howe. Uh, you mind if I join you, Maria? Uh, not at all. As long as you don't mind watching me win. I don't mind watching you at all.
I don't want to do that again. He's gonna roast me or something. Oh. Um, sure, yeah. Getting married at 18? <laughs> it's like finally getting to the buffet of life and being like, nah, it's cool, man. I'll just have this one piece of toast forever. <laughs> New game. Um, favorite memory of me. <laughs> How about that time you brought dog biscuits to school for lunch? Okay. Uh, I was eight, and we promised that would never go public. Uh -huh. Um, Mo. Remember that time you drank the hot sauce? That was hilarious. <laughs> right now. A couple seconds ago, yeah. Yeah. Jake? Anything, buddy, come on. OK. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that I did it video, which was that, you know, which was actually about you sleeping with my girlfriend. We, we don't. We... Guys, come on. You're supposed to make this special. At this time, I'd like to call to the stage tonight's bachelors, Mr. Drew Torres and Mr. Steve Patel. We're all with you. Leave no man behind. Not that easy, is it? Excuse me? Uh, your lips are moving. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. Do you want to have drinks after? Yeah, put it on ice, pal. I'm sorry, I was talking to Maria Alvarez, was it? Uh, my name's Katie Matlin. Darren. And uh, while we're being honest, I'm, I have a boyfriend, and I'm actually here to win my tuition for Stanford next year. Hey, go Cardinal. I used to go there for two years until I had to drop out because my startup blew up. Oh my god, you're Darren Howe? You invented face rank? Anyways, I got a thing. Um, if you want some advice, you want to win your tuition back, you got to bet bigger. Risk equals reward. That's a thousand dollars. Yeah, you're worth it. <laughs> if you change your mind about drinks. Once you know what matters and you really know that nothing matters. Once you know what matters, it's the only thing that really matters. We can be together now. So help me out. Once you see forever, that's the first that we tell each other. Once you see forever, that's the first that we tell each other. We can be together now. So help me out. Katie, what happened? I just, I hit a bad run, but don't worry, because the count's plus nine now. That means that there's mostly face cards left, remember? I'd like to split. Okay. Okay, but that's all of your money. Gotta get out of this hole, Mayor. 20, 20. Okay. Come on, Nine, come on, come on, come on, 11, come on, come on, come on. 15, 21. No, 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 no. House wins. That was every cent my parents ever saved for me. What am I gonna do? I don't know, you really messed up. Thanks, Mary, you're supposed to be comforting me. You know, how is it even possible that stupid Drew has his life more together than I do? Okay, that is not true. He has a job, he's getting married. I I can't even afford to go to TU anymore. Look, this is Vegas. There has to be some way you can get the money back. You know what, there, there is one thing I could do. I don't know, Mary, he's a billionaire. Maybe he has a job for me or something. Hi, Darren, um, this is Katie. I remember how you told me to take a risk. This here's my brother Paul, the bride to be Angie's brother Tom. This here's my dad Steve. Hey, yeah! 
All right, so, so everyone's here but your mom. Oh, yeah, she's out with Angie right now. Probably stuffing dollar bills on the G-string, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's got nice. Wait, they, they do that together? They do everything together. They're family. Uh, my mom and fiance, they don't even talk. Actually, my mom doesn't even know I'm getting married. I tell my mom everything. Yeah, yeah, we used to be close. At my football games, she was the loudest cheerleader. She'd go camping all the time. I don't know, lately she's just been on my case for everything. Got my dad on her side, too. If I elope, my mom would disown me. Hey, man! Love conquers all, right? Uh, good luck tomorrow. Thanks. All right. Limo's gonna be here in five minutes. Take us to glow in the dark paintball. Yeah, uh, give me a minute. I need to make a quick call. Hey, I guess you're busy right now. I just, I think we're making a huge mistake. this guy for money i don't even know him well then let's go i mean we can still get a swim in before the boys wake up no mayor i can't go home and and tell my parents that i lost my entire university fund nothing says good morning las vegas like a mimosa oh, thanks there you go so uh blackjack didn't go so well how much um five thousand um, look, I'm not here for a handout or anything. Um, maybe I could I could work for you this summer. I can type 150 words per minute and I make a mean latte. I already got people that do that for me, Katie. Right. Of course you do. <laughs> of course you can't hire me. No, but I can give you the money. You would just hand over five grand? If you spend the afternoon with me. Uh, she's not having sex with you. <laughs> I've seen pretty women. Uh, I think you mean a decent proposal. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not that kind of girl. No, I know, but you're young, you're ambitious, you're smart. I just want to run some face range ideas by you. Anyways, you two, uh, think it over. Sorry, I gotta take this. You're actually considering this? Well, I need the money and he needs ideas. Yeah. Ideas. But he said no sex, so. Okay, do you remember Jake? Tall, wears flannel, is your boyfriend? Oh, I don't have to tell him. Katie, I can't cover for you. I am the worst liar in the world. Well, you're gonna have to work on it, okay? Because I don't know what else to do, and I'm in the hole, Mare, and this is the only way I'm gonna be able to pull myself out. Girls? What do you mean there were girls there? Well, there might have been other girls there, but I, I only have eyes for you. <laughs> no, that's so sweet. Adam, call my phone. I gotta go. Best man time. Best man ever. Okay, well, I'm going to the pool. Shouldn't you work on your vows or something? Just call my phone. Okay, yeah, so it is working. Why isn't she calling me back? I don't know. Didn't Imogen confiscate Bianca's phone? Not, not Bianca. Mom. You called mom? Why would you call mom? She thinks we're camping! Adam, it's because I, I don't think I can get married without her here. So what? You're just gonna cancel the wedding? You're a genius. Where are you going? To find Bianca and tell her. She loves me. She'll understand. Have you met Bianca? All right, we are so riding the roller coaster at New York, New York. Girls, ready? Um, actually, I'm I'm really not feeling so hot. I think I might just, you know, watch a movie in the room or something. Well, good luck. <laughs> Wait, you're not gonna play more blackjack, are you? And um, by by good luck, I meant with the uh, the pay-per-view <laughs> remote, because you know how tricky, you know, oh, tricky yeah. those things. Look, you guys have fun, okay? I'll, uh, see you at the wedding. Okay. Get me a keychain or something so I can pretend I was there. Okay. Okay, 
not answering her phone, not in her room. Hey, guys, have you guys seen Bianca today? No, what? To call off the wedding. Ha! I told you, five bucks. No, he does not need to call off the wedding. Drew, you're being dumb. The only reason I went along with your crazy plan to get married in Las Vegas is because I know how much you love Bianca. Yeah. Yeah, she's the only one who stuck with me through everything, but... Do you want to lose Bianca forever? After you? Oh, um, I know you're paying for this, but, uh... You have a boyfriend, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, and he's a lot better than the one I had last year, so I just don't want to cross any boundaries, you know? Um, you said you wanted to talk about face range? Eventually, but right now I need help with something else. Uh, what exactly? I need some new clothes. Let me see. This one? Yeah, money can buy a lot of things. In that style? <laughs> <laughs> um, what about this one? All right. So, uh, you, you live like this every day? Well, I'd like to treat myself to the finer things. Yeah, too bad you don't have anyone to share it with. Well, today I have you. You up for a concert? Uh, yeah. Just, um, is this okay to wear? Or you could pick something new. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Um. Wow, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Go try it on. Wow. Wow, you nailed it. You like? Yes, I like. <laughs> wow. Uh, your check is over here just to get the business out of the way. Also threw in a bottle of champagne for the newlyweds. Uh, thank you. Um, have I mentioned that this is nuts yet? So, um, how far is this concert? It's not too far. <laughs> oh my god, is that uh, Headley? Yeah, you like? Hey guys, hey. Jacob. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Boys? Shall we? How is this even real? You want to dance? Come on, I've been taking lessons. I don't know. Come on, I'm taking notes. I'm ready to go. Well, I'm willing good. to take you girls. I will feel every inch of your skin. And you know I can rock your world. I'm going to be the calm in the storm you're looking for. Be the shipwreck that takes you down. I don't mind if you lie in my bed. We can stay here forever now. Turn off the lights, take off your clothes, turn on the stereo. Give up the fight, I'm in control. Why don't you let it go? Why'd you do this? I mean, the band, the dress, we didn't even talk about face range. Honestly, I want to have sex with you. Uh, wow, that is honest. And if you're willing, throw on another $20,000 to that check. Should be enough to cover your first year at Stanford, right? I'm really sorry, but I'm just not that girl. There you go. Well, if you find that girl, tell her where to find me. <sighs> okay. I should she should have been here ten minutes ago. You think she got delayed? Maybe. Maybe we'll need to cancel. Don't look so excited. I don't know. It could be perfect. We could reschedule and. Dude, this is happening. Focus. Katie is not returning any of my texts. Have you talked to her? Uh, yeah, it's probably just bad reception in the shopping center. You said she was there buying tights. Yep, to match her dress. But five minutes ago, you said it was bobby pins. Uh, I can't lie to you. Hey. Hey. Marisol told you? Yeah. Wow, 
why'd you lie to me? I'm sorry, okay? I, I needed the money. Okay, Jake, please understand, okay? I, I couldn't go home without my parents' money. What is the big deal about Stanford, anyway? It is one of the best schools around, and I got in. But, and that means more to you than I do? You know what? Maybe if you weren't stoned all the time, you'd get it. Wow. Okay. Okay, I think we're just about done here. Jake. Jake. Jake, I didn't mean it. All clear? Still no drew in sight, but we have to hurry. You look so beautiful. Are you ready to get married? I'm so nervous, I can't feel my legs. Don't worry, once you see Drew, all those butterflies will fly away. Oh, and here's your phone back in case you want to take some wedding pics. 20 missed calls from Drew? I put it on silent. Okay, I should check my messages. No, he was probably just drunk dialing. Your soon-to-be hubby is waiting. We have to run. Okay, let's do this. Guys, I still can't feel my legs. Drew? Yeah? The front desk said you left 10 minutes ago. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Mom? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. I'll deal with you later, mister. You came? Yeah, right after I got your message. Now, can we please go home before you go on with this foolishness? <sighs> What's she doing here? He called me to tell me he was making a big mistake getting married. You said that? No. I am not. Yes. Would you please say Let me explain. No, save it, Drew. I get it. I'll never be enough for you. No, you need to talk to me. Stop telling me what to do. I'm going to get the love of my life. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, honey. Express yourself. Uh, excuse me. Were you not the one who called me? Am I not here to talk some sense into you because you were making a huge mistake? The mistake that I thought I was making. I was getting married without you here. I guess I was wrong. Drew, you're 18 years old. You have your whole life ahead of you. And thanks to you, Bianca might not be in it. I know you never approved of her and you told her to her face that she wasn't good enough for me, but I love her. And I need her in my life, so please, please do not make me choose. I just can't support a teen wedding. Okay. What? For once, will you please just support me? Some spring break, huh? Hey. Um, want some champagne? For the wedding gift? This must have cost a thousand dollars. Yeah, probably. I don't know, some rich guy gave it to me. Why? Did you have sex with him? <laughs> of course not. Um, but if I did, he would have given me a lot more than a bottle of champagne. Ugh, gross. <laughs> so was he like a million years old? The rich dude who gave you the champagne. Uh, no, actually, he was like 23, 25 tops. 
and cute. Really cute. And he planned this amazing, amazing afternoon for us. My guy ditched me at the altar. I can't count on anyone, can you? Well, I, um, I thought I could. I, I messed up so much this year. I feel like I, I need a fresh start. I, I need Stanford, you know? Whatever it takes, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, I gotta go. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, just like you. Is, um, is it getting hot in here? Yeah, definitely. No, um, I mean, can I, um, get a glass of water? Yeah, sure. Good. You're still here. Oh, so our wedding's a bus and you go to the gym to work out. That's awesome, Drew. Look, I, I was a fool today. That's generous. But I'm about to do something even more foolish. <sighs> Wise men say only fools rush in. But I can't help falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can? Did all this? No. I had a lot of help. I think that's the point. And they should be at our wedding. So you still want to get married? <laughs> yes. Bianca D'Souza, you're the light of my life. Not the only light, but definitely the brightest. Will you marry me? Sometime in front of everyone we know and love. Yes. Yes? <laughs> she said yes. <laughs>
You okay? Um, no, not really. Um, Mary, I need to tell you something. I went to Darren's room last night. You what? No, I, it's just that he offered to pay for Stanford an entire year and Jake and I basically broke up, so. Oh my God, that is so dangerous. Did you? He left me alone at one point to get me a drink. And I saw my reflection in the glass and I don't know, Mary, it just didn't look like me. It looked like some desperate girl. I just, I couldn't sink any further, so I grabbed my bag and I ran. Phew, girl, you had me so worried. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm glad I got out. Hey, uh, thanks for the keychain. Uh, it wasn't me. I lost a really great guy, huh? You want me to switch seats so you can beg for forgiveness? No, no, um, I think I should take a break from boys until I figure out my future. Kitty, you're never gonna be alone, okay? You're always gonna have me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Alcoholic bubbly for all. Now with a few words to start this engagement party, my darling wife. Well, we've all been through a lot this year, but no one's been through more than these two. And to be honest, part of me blamed Bianca. Mom. I know, it wasn't fair. I know. And Bianca, I want to welcome you to the family with open arms. Which is why I uh, helped you with a little something. I uh, hope this makes it a little bit more official. It's beautiful. Thank you. It was my grandmother's. Congratulations. I really missed you. I missed you too. See, isn't life a little easier when it's not just you and me against the world? Yeah. Yeah.